Welcome to Everyday Linux User. Now a lot's been made in the press about Windows 10 coming to the end of support and Windows 11 not supporting every device out there due to some stringent requirements. In this video I'm going to look at why Windows 11 demands the use of TPM 2.0 and why they demand online accounts and why Linux doesn't. So if you've tried to install Windows 11 on an older PC you hit a wall. There's a tiny cryptic wall called TPM2. Microsoft made the security chip mandatory, but here's the kicker. You can install any Linux distribution without it. So why the difference? It comes down to two totally opposite philosophies on security control and who owns your computer. Let's start with the basics. The TPM or trusted platform module is a tiny tamper resistant chip. It's a secure vault for your keys. It's not a padlock, it's a secure crypto processor and its main job is to provide a hardware route of trust. It ensures that when your computer boots, it starts from a verifiable, trustworthy state. For Microsoft, requiring TPM2 is about setting a minimum security baseline for billions of devices. They need to guarantee security for their enterprise clients and for modern features. There are three main reasons. One, boot integrity. The TPM takes measurements of the firmware and boot files. If a hacker plants a rootkit, the measurement changes and the TPM detects it, preventing the OS from loading. Two, data and credential protection. The TPM secures BitLocker encryption keys and the biometric data for Windows Hello. Keys are non-exportable. They never leave the chip. And three, device health attestation. And this is for business. It allows a company network to verify a PC is running genuine, untampered software before granting network access. It's all about a modern zero trust security model. The TPM is a hardware gate, but Windows 11 introduced a software gate and that's even more controversial, the mandatory Microsoft online account. Why this demand? Microsoft says it's for convenience and better security for the average user. One is a key backup. When you sign in with a Microsoft account, the recovery key for your automatic drive encryption is backed up to the cloud. If you forget your password or suffer critical failure, Microsoft can save your data. Two, seamless ecosystem. Your license settings, desktop background and browser favorites sync across all your devices. It's a single sign on to OneDrive, Outlook and Microsoft 365. And three, better recovery. A Microsoft account lets you recover your password easily online unlike a local account where a forgotten password can permanently lock you out. But critics argue this is less about convenience and more about control and data. By forcing a Microsoft account, Microsoft links your operating system, your usage data and your online identity all back to a single profile, making it easier to track and monetize. It's a necessary step for their cloud first business model. Now let's pivot back to Linux. The primary reason Linux distros don't require a TPM or a mandatory online account is philosophical. Freedom and user control. Linux doesn't force hardware or network requirements. You can install it completely offline with a simple local username and password. Users should be free to run the OS on any hardware they own, whether it's old PCs, custom builds and even tiny Raspberry Pis. Forcing requirements could, would contradict the open source spirit. Does this mean Linux is weaker? No, if a Linux user wants TPM like security or cloud convenience, they can install optional open source tools to use those features. But the key is the power remains a choice, not a mandate. The divide is clear. Microsoft is building a unified guaranteed secure cloud integrated platform even if it means sacrificing user autonomy and hardware freedom. Linux maintains a traditional view of the PC as a local private machine that the user has complete control over from the first boot. Now coming up, I am going to show you how I've replaced Windows 10 with Ubuntu on a low spec basic computer. So if you're interested, hit the subscribe button. But for now, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.